This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a relatively rare lock from about 50 years ago, the Miracle Magnetic. And this one is in absolutely pristine condition and made its way to me complete with the original packaging and paperwork. So it's quite a collector's item. This was made by the Miracle Lock Company starting in 1970, and they weren't made for very long since the company closed down shortly after its military contracts were terminated in 1971. Those military contracts were for the so-called Miracle Locks. I have a couple of them here. This one has an Ingersoll core that was made in the UK, and this one has an Ava core made in Finland. The Miracle Magnetic was the company's first attempt at its own homegrown high security core. The locks have either five or six normal pins in addition to four magnetic pins, and that's two on either side of the key. The magnetic pins, of course, are the tricky part of picking these open. We could take a couple of different approaches to picking them. Decoding would be very easy simply by putting a tiny magnet on the end of a pick and feeling the polarity of each of the magnetic pins. Something like this would work very, very well. But there is an easier way, and that's the use of a magnetic rake. A magnetic rake is nothing but a series of alternating polarity magnets like what I have mocked up right here. Now this isn't my idea. I've seen a few other pickers do this, Locksmith Army and Correct Jeans in particular, but I'm using a slightly different configuration and much more powerful magnets than I've seen used, which makes it significantly easier for me. So let's see what it takes to pick this open, and then of course I will take it apart to show you what's inside. Okay, let's get a little bit of tension in here. Then I'm going to take my rake and both counter rotate the core and push it back and forth to try to set those magnetic pins. I'm going to be paying very careful attention to how much of a false set I get on this core because that's what's going to tell me when those magnetic pins are set. Okay, I think I may have set them already. Let's check the normal pins. One, two, okay, number three, click there. Nothing on four. Five is binding. Got a nice click out of five, back to the beginning. Click out of one and we dropped into a very deep false set. On to two. Okay, counter rotation on two. Some sort of spool there. Okay, got two set. Nothing on three, click out of four. Nothing on five, back to the beginning. Click out of one and we got it open. So I think it's pretty clear why this never made it into Miracle's military munitions locks. So let's take this apart and see what's inside. Let's get a pinning tray over here and I'm using one of the new ones that I got from Bosnian Bill. To take this apart, we need to remove those two slotted screws. Okay, now let's get a key and a follower, and we should be able to take that core out. Okay, I am leaving the key in because the key is actually what's holding the two magnetic pins on either side in. Then I'm going to dump each of these key pins out. Number one, standard, so is two, so is three, four, and five. Now I'm going to remove the key and those magnetic pins are probably gonna pop right out. Okay, here we have all four of those magnetic pins. Let's arrange these key pins and then we'll take the driver pins out. Okay, number one is a mushroom pin. So is number two. So is three, 
four and five is standard. Let's dump all these springs out. And it seems like I have one spring with a little rod in it. That is to prevent overlift attacks. They were actually a lot more common back in the 1970s. Okay, let me give you a little bit closer of a look at these. You can see all of our key pins are standard. For the driver pins, one through four are mushrooms and then a standard in slot five, probably to keep the core properly aligned. Then we have our four magnetic pins over here in the last slot. Moving over to the core, let's see, I don't see anything particularly unusual about it. The machining tolerances don't seem particularly good, but we do have those holes in the side for the magnetic pins. And you can see they don't go all the way through to the keyway. That's to make sure you can't physically manipulate them. But that keyway is absolutely massive. And because of that, we could drive these huge magnets into it. Any other keyway, and we would never be able to do this. And then let's also take a close look at this key. You can see it looks relatively normal with the exception of the four magnets that go all the way through. So that's all I have for you today on this Miracle Magnetic Lock. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.